Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I am going to put together a Williamsburg apple tree. So this is a wooden cone. Um, it's shaped just like a cone that that these are little nails have been tacked into. Now I purchased this at a, I, I think it was a flea market for $2. So I was thrilled when I picked this up. When I was a little girl at Christmas time, my mama would allow us, my sister and I, to decorate the apple tree for Christmas. And so it always became a wonderful tradition. Um, and then when we grew up, I didn't know where mama's apple tree went. I was at a flea market and found this cone that I knew was an apple tree. And so we're going to put this together. One of our sweet followers over on Facebook asked that I make a apple tree. So that's what we're going to do today. Now this time we're going to do it. I have done it with apples. I've done it with um, lemons. We've done it with oranges before. I know I did a lemon one for a video and I'm, I believe I've done an apple um, tree for a video, but I'm going to do it again. And I thought, I would do it here on YouTube. So um, we're going to do some research and see where you might be able to purchase one of these um, apple tree cones or a Williamsburg apple tree cone. And, um, and so we will try to put a link down below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my cone to the side. This is just a glass tray. You can use anything as your base. I would suggest using some type of um, plate or container up underneath your tree because as the apples um, age, they'll drip. And so it's best that you have some kind of um, container that's going to keep it from um, ruining any of your furniture. So I have a platter here, just a, a clear glass platter. I'm going to take some magnolia leaves. I just went out and harvested these out of our yard. So I'm just going to take and pull those right off the branch. Now with this arrangement, we did go to the store and purchase some fruit and um, the greenery I have just gone outside and harvested. You can use any type of greenery. The most traditional greenery you'll see in pictures is boxwood, and I happen to have boxwood here at the flower shop in the yard. So I went ahead and cut some boxwood. What I'm gonna do with these magnolia leaves is I am just going to cover my platter with magnolia leaves, and it's going to kind of give the little tree a collar or a base. So I'm just taking these magnolia leaves and kind of laying them in a circle. So just like that, I'm laying those magnolia leaves flat on this platter. Now I'm holding them down and then I'm going to set my cone right on top. Now you'll have no worries. Um, it doesn't seem like the cone is very heavy yet, but it's going to get heavy once I start putting my fruit in place. So there is my platter with my magnolia leaves. Just kind of, um, it's just like a collar, like a little collar around the tree. So next what we're going to do is we're going to place our apples. Now, when I sent Owen to the grocery store, they did not have a, ba a bag of red delicious apples. These are gala apples, and so they're not as red as I would prefer, but they are going to, they're going to do just fine. So they're more of a pinky colored apple than a true, true red. I would have loved a true red, but I didn't want to buy individual apples. So this tree has, let's count the nails, one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 um, nails. So it takes, I don't even know if we have enough apples, but we'll do the front side. If we don't have enough apples, we won't worry about the back side. We'll bump it up. Again, something so you won't see it. Um, but that's a lot of apples to buy individually. So that's why I like to buy a bag of apples. 
as my topper, this time we're going to use a fresh pineapple. Now, in the Williamsburg, um, if you'll pull up any of Williamsburg arrangements, you're going to see lots of fruit, lots of badges and different things, but it's always made with fruit. And so they make the apple trees with pineapples with lots of different kinds of fruit, mostly apples and pineapples. So that's why we I had Owen pick me up an, a pineapple. I'm going to take these apples. I'm just pressing them right onto the nails. I'm just taking them and pressing them right in. Now, you can probably, if you have someone who is handy, you can probably have them make you one of these um, apple trees. Now, my Jason is not handy at all, so he would not have been one to make me one. Um, but if you'll watch at flea markets and at antique shops, you are very likely going to be able to find one of these trees. Um, and it's one of my very favorite pieces to use around the holidays. And I think it's because it brings back memories. So I am just taking these apples and pressing them right onto those nails. And I don't have quite enough, but that's completely okay. As long as the front is pretty, we are good to go. I like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven apples. So I think two bags would have been exactly what, I mean three bags would have been exactly what I needed, but you're going to get the, the effect of what it's going to look like. So next what I'm going to do is I am going to, I'm going to wait and put my pineapple on last because it's heavy and I feel like maybe I can get my greenery in place and then put my pineapple on top. So this is just boxwood that I cut right out of the yard. I have new growth on my um, boxwood so it's kind of sticking up over the top of the um, shrubs. So I just went out and cut it. So I'm going to trim it down just a little bit or pull some of the leaves off. I'm going to nestle it right between the apples. So what this does is it's just kind of filling in some space. And it reminds you so much of Christmas. You can use any kind of evergreens. Um, you do not have to use boxwood. You can go and cut cedar out of your yard. You can use any kind of evergreens. But I knew that we had boxwood and I thought, I am using boxwood this time. So it's kind of fun. Um, and I'm just stripping off any of the leaves that, that are on that stem. And you're just gonna fill it in. And you would do this with any type of greenery. Just tuck it right between those apples. Now you can use larger apples than I used. These are just the small types of apples that come in a, in a little bag. Um, I just find that it is more cost effective if we use a bag of apples versus buying them individually but it's really completely up to you. So I'm going to continue to add greenery. Now this is one of those arrangements y'all that if you move it too much, your greenery is going to come out. And so if you can build it close to where you're going to place it, that's probably a good idea. Like it wouldn't be a great idea for me to travel with this probably because it's probably not going to hold up so well just because my greenery is going to come out. But I mean, it's very easy to tuck this greenery in. Now, I suggest you fill this guy up with greenery. Just keep adding greenery until you're happy with its fullness. And you know, if you watched me, I like a lot, but 
It's really completely up to you as the designer. Now, if you have a holly bush that has pretty red berries, I would suggest um, cutting some of that pretty holly and tucking those beautiful red berries in. Now, I don't have any, my, my holly doesn't have red berries. So, it has pretty greens, but it doesn't have pretty red berries. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to substitute for my red berries okay. is I'm going to use hypericum berries or what some people call coffee berries. I also have a little bit of baby's breath. So let's see what the baby's breath looks like in this. I'm going to go ahead and take, this is my pineapple. Now, Owen picked out this pineapple and the crown or the top of the pineapple is not as pretty as I would prefer. Um, so when you pick out a pineapple, try to pick out one that's really pretty. This one has some dried edges, but um, it is what it is. So I'm going to take this pineapple and I'm tucking it right on top of my um, tree and I'm going to take more greenery and add it all the way around my pineapple. The wonderful part is the pineapple is kind of big and gives you a good topper for your tree. Um, now if you don't have a pineapple or if you don't want to purchase a pineapple, you do not have to. You can certainly put another apple on top or any type of fruit that you would like. Um, this is your tree. You make it as pretty as you would like it to be. Next, I'm gonna come in. I have never used baby's breath before, but I thought, what about some little tufts of pretty white baby's breath? So baby's breath, this is a bundle of baby's breath. So it comes in a pretty large bundle, okay? I'm gonna take and try to, very carefully, there we go, pull out just one stem of the baby's breath. Now you can buy baby's breath from your local florist. Um, we don't keep it here all the time. We have it every once in a while. Um, baby's breath I find is a little hard to work with. Now at our local grocery store, you can get a small bundle of baby's breath for like $5. So if your local florist doesn't have it, our local Kroger always keeps it. Um, so I'm gonna take just tiny pieces of baby's breath and just tuck it right in to my tree. Now to me, the more greenery that you tuck between these apples, the prettier it is. And like I said, you see how it, you got kind of have to work with it to keep it. So I'm just taking and cutting just small pieces of that baby's breath and just tucking that right in. Now as a little girl, we would always just go and cut everything from our yard. Um, nothing was store bought except the apples or the oranges. Um, everything else came from the yard. And of course back then I wasn't quite as as skilled as I am now. I would love to see a picture of what this looked like when I was a little girl. But we thought it was the most beautiful thing we had ever created. And so it's so fun. And if you have children, I think that this would be a fun thing to do with your children. Okay, so I got another little piece there, I think. Now, if you don't have a bush that has holly berries, if you have a bush that has Nandina berries, Nandina is a shrub um, that grows and it has pretty little red berries on it usually also, it would be a perfect berry to tuck in here. Okay, so there's our baby's breath. So these are red hypericum berries. So hypericum berries actually come in lots of colors, white, red, green, peach, pink, um, lots of colors, burgundy. So these, I got a, um, a Christmas mixture of berries. And so they came with the red, the white, and the green. So I'm just gonna take these little red berries, I'm gonna cut them in smaller pieces, 
and just tuck them right in between my apples. But see how those red berries really scream Christmas, or they do to me. Um, and although my apples are not quite as red as I had preferred, I do think this looks very Christmassy. Now in the summertime, I like to use this little tree and do lemons. And I like to add some fresh florals to it. Not just the greenery and the baby's breath and the berries, I like to add fresh flowers. And it makes such a pretty presentation. And I remember as a little girl, we would use apples and add cloves to the, not apples, oranges and add cloves to our oranges. And it smelled delightful, and it made you feel so Christmassy. All right. And like I said, you can just keep layering and adding as much as you would like, but the more you add, the fancier it looks, I think we're going to add a few more berries up here at the top around our pineapple. But the more you add, the fancier it looks. So it really is such a pretty presentation um, and so fun to, um, to make. Guys, I hope you like this video. If you have any questions about how I put this together, don't hesitate to um, post that right down below the video. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. We're going to see if we cannot find um, a link for you to buy one of these um, Williamsburg apple trees forms. Um, and so we will post that information down below also. Guys, we hope you have a wonderful day. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please be sure to do that. Um, just hit that little subscribe button down below. We'll see you real soon. Thanks, guys.